This is the symbol for proportionality. It also looks like a fish. So in the last video we were doing inequalities. It will be kind of disingenuous of me to not tell you that this topic is also a part of inequalities, linear programming. But when we reach into functions, we'll look at linear programming a little more. This is normally a monster for people. So we'll try and team this monster in, in a video coming um, soon. Subscribe to the channel to get notified. Um, you could also hit the notification bell after you subscribe if you want to be notified every time a video comes up. All right, so let's do variation. Variation aka proportionality. There are two types of variation. One is when it varies directly and one is when it varies inversely. Here's an example of a direct relationship. The number of videos, videos you watch versus how intelligent you get. So the more of my videos you watch, the more intelligent you get. It's a direct relationship. Here is an example of inverse relationships. So when you were younger, and you're getting licks from your parent, one of the things you used to do, one of the strategies, is to make a lot of noise and scream and cry to let them know that this thing hurting so they would ease off any licks. So the more noise you make, the less the force of the belt will be now. So more noise, less force. That's an inversely proportional relationship. As the screaming goes up, the licks might go down. Now some people is direct too because as the screaming go up you get more licks too but use your imagination all right so let's go into this varies directly this is the symbol for proportional y is the first thing we want to look at that varies to x that's simple now it's a kind of multiplicative relationship so as y goes up by two this one will go up by two as well so if i was on three this goes up to six if this one was on four it will go up to eight it's simple um, since it's multiplicative, if we want to express inverse, we'll use the multiplicative inverse for this. So y is proportional to the inverse of x. So this means as y goes up, x must go down to maintain the relationship. Have we ever solved any equations with this sign? No. To solve equations, we need an equal sign. Hint, equation, equal. Alright, so to get an equal sign, we need to introduce something called the constant of variation. I feel he could go in a red. Alright, let me pay him in blue. Y is equal to K times X. K here is the constant of variation. It's the same thing here. Y is equal to K oh, times 1 over X. Alright? I didn't put K in blue there, but you catch the point. All right, so if we remove the multiplication sign just to make it look neater, y is equal to kx, and in this one, y is equal to k over x. It means the same thing as above. And that is all the theory you need to know for proportionality. But it may seem senseless without some examples. So let's look at some examples to see if we can put two and two on this. 